the civilian population from the center of the battle, in warning citizens, in monitoring humanitarian situation. But Israel will defend its people and do whatever it takes with an iron fist to change the reality. I want to thank President Joe Biden wholeheartedly and the American administration and the American Congress for their unanimity in protecting and supporting the state of Israel and the people of Israel. America is a great friend. President Biden is a great friend standing by with us in our hour of need. Over the, last two day, over the last few days, I've spoken with numerous world leaders who've expressed their dismay, their disgust, their outrage at the tragic attack and its consequences. I believe it's now time also to hear religious leaders all over the world express and condemn this horrific attack. And I also believe that the press around the world needs to look at the reality. They must declare and call Hamas a terrorist organization without ifs and buts, without explanation. If families in Toronto were massacred in the same way, I'm sure the press would call it massacre by terrorists, by terrorist organizations. These are not freedom fighters. These are terrorists the worst enemies of humanity that one can imagine. I call upon the international community unequivocally, make clear and loud condemnation of Hamas, just as you condemned ISIS. They are one and the same. Make clear that Hamas carries full responsibility and accountability for the well-being of the hostages and demand their immediate release with no conditions at all. Support Israel in words and in deeds. Designate Hamas in its entirety as a terrorist body. Finally, I want to say that the people of Israel have always shown their capability of getting up from the darkest hour and rising as lions and fighting back and showing incredible spirit of unity and friendship and solidarity. I see it all over the nation. I see it in the huge amount of volunteering, in the huge amount of mobilization to the army, in the huge amount of doing good to each other, of helping each other in so many consequences and so many spheres of life. I encourage my people, I bless the people of Israel. We shall definitely overcome. We shall definitely be victorious. We've always done so. It will take time, but we shall overcome and we shall be victorious.